Welcome to WP Forms, the best WordPress contact form plugin on the market. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a pop-up for your WordPress site in two easy ways and for free. For this tutorial, we're going to use two different plugins in addition to WP Forms, Optin Monster and Pop-up Maker. Optin Monster is a powerful conversion optimization toolkit that helps you generate more subscribers, leads, and sales from the traffic you already have. And Pop-Up Maker is a popular and easy-to-use WordPress pop-up plugin built to create conversion-focused campaigns that will help you grow your revenue and email lists. With that said, let's jump right in. Let's first go through creating a pop-up with Optin Monster. First, install the plugin by going to the Plugins tab on the left, click on the Add New button at the top of the page, and use the search bar to search for Optin Monster. Once you see it appear, Click on the Install Now button, then activate it. Our next step is to build our pop-up campaign, so from the left sidebar, go to Optin Monster, then Campaigns, and on the following page, click on the green Create Your First Campaign button. On the following page, you'll see two tabs, Templates and Playbooks. Under the Templates tab, the pop-up option should be selected by default, and you should be able to see the available pop-up templates below the campaign type. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the Subscribe to Newsletter template and modify it to add my contact form into it. So click on the Use Template button and give it a name to be taken into the Campaign Builder. On the following page, you can hover over any of the elements on the pop-up to see they've been divided into blocks. So first, Let's edit the pop-up's title and header to include some helpful directions for customers. To do this, simply click on either block and begin typing. Next, we'll want to add our WP Forms contact form, so click on the block that contains the yes and no options and click on the trash can icon to delete them. Afterwards, click on the design tab at the top of the page and use the search bar to look for WP Forms. Once the widget appears, click and drag it into the pop-up. On the left, you'll see a dropdown called Form Selection where you can choose which form you'd like to embed into the pop-up. When you select your form, you'll only see the form's short code displayed in the pop-up itself, but we'll be able to preview the pop-up shortly. When you've finished customizing your pop-up, click on the Publish button at the top of the builder. On the following page, you'll be able to choose whether or not to keep it as a draft, publish it now, or even create a schedule that will determine when your pop-up will run. Additionally, you can enter a URL in the Live Site Inspector field to preview and test your new pop-up to view exactly what customers will see when they visit your site. When you're ready to publish your pop-up, return to Optin Monster and click on the Publish button under the Publish Status section, click on the Save button on the top right corner of the page, and click on the green Publish Now button that appears on the following pop-up. We're all set with this first free method, so let's move on to our second free method, using Pop-Up Maker. Starting back in the WordPress dashboard, go to the Plugins tab on the left and click on the Add New button at the top of the page. Use the search bar to find Pop-Up Maker and install it when it appears. Once the plugin is installed and activated, go to Pop-Up Maker on the left side and click on Create New Pop-Up. In the first text field, create a name. This is for internal use only, so only you will see it. The next field allows you to add another title that'll be used as a headline inside the pop-up itself and will be visible to customers when they visit your site. Below that, find the button labeled Add Form. When the pop-up appears, use the available drop-down menu to select which form you'd like to add to your pop-up. You can check the optional boxes to show the form's name and description if you'd like. Otherwise, click Add Form. You should then see the short code for your contact form in the text box. Next, we'll configure the settings for our pop-up, starting with the triggers. In the pop-up settings section, click on the Add New Trigger button and use the first drop-down to select Time Delay Auto Open. This will trigger the pop-up to appear on your site after a customer has been on the page for a certain amount of time. You'll also see a checkbox that will prevent the pop-up from appearing to the visitor again when a cookie is used. If you'd like to disable this feature, uncheck the box. Otherwise, you can use the second drop-down to select from any of the available options to specify when you'd like to stop the pop-up from being shown. When you're done, click on the Add button. 
The next step will be to choose the amount of time a user needs to spend on the page before the pop-up will appear. You can choose whatever time you'd like, but for this example, I'm going to change it to 5000 milliseconds, which comes out to 5 seconds. When you're done, click Add again. By default, this pop-up will appear on every page of your site, but if you'd like to change that, you can also click on the Targeting tab and create conditions to target your pop-up to specific content. You can also choose to disable the pop-up on mobile and tablet devices. The Display tab allows you to change the look of your pop-up. You can choose from any of the available display presets and click on the Appearance tab to choose a theme for the pop-up. In my case, I'm going to choose Lightbox. You can even go further with your customizations and change the pop-up size, add in animation effects, sounds, and more. When you've finished making your changes, click on the Publish button on the right side of the page, and you're all set. You now know how to create a WordPress pop-up form for free in two easy ways. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page where you can find step-by-step -step written guides for all of our features, add-ons, and more. You can also join our WP Forms VIP Circle group on Facebook to learn even more tips and tricks, as well as be part of the growing WP Forms community. If you need any extra help, please visit our contact page to connect with one of our trusted advisors. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.